Hello, today we are going to show you how to replace the front brake pads on a Suzuki LTZ 400. This one is 2005 but it's the same procedure for all LTZ 400. All you need to do is remove the front tire. We're going to do both of them at the same time, left and front, since we got the hockey. So we just got the tire off. The four bolts, the, the nuts right there, we take the tire off. Then you need Allen wrench size 6 to get uh, these two bolts these two let me show you this one and the one right here loose this way the caliper will come off the frame so we just get them loose and then you need a 5 millimeter uh, allen wrench for right here and you need to make to get those loose before we take the other ones off that way it's already attached to the frame next you need to get a screwdriver and compress the cylinder like the piston in the cylinder it goes all the way in because the new parts are a little bit thicker than the ones we have and if the, the piston doesn't go in they will not be able to install the caliper back on the disc so as you can see we just get the two bolts that hold it to the frame with size 6 allen wrench and then we get the other ones with 5 all the way loose and those let me show you about it do you see how dirty and rusty they are? We need to clean those. You can use fine sandpaper and clean them. And then we need to apply some kind of grease or uh, we use uh, we use wa uh, white silicone grease that is water resistant. This way it will prevent building up rust and it will slide easy. As you can see, this one is stuck pretty good because of that rust. Okay, we got the bolt loose. We just pull it out now. And right here are the two brake pads. They come right off. As you can see how wore out they are. And right here there is a little metal, metal piece that it goes between the piston and the brake pad as you can see where where the piston used to lay against that metal piece okay we're we're cleaning both of the bolts where the the caliper slides on so you can see we use a little bit of sandpaper clean them really good remove all the rust and all the deposits and then we just use white grease and apply a little bit of grease to both of them okay it's time to put it back together put the new parts so we need to get that little metal piece that goes right there and we put one of the bolts on the back let me show you if I can get in the camera through the holes of the little piece, both of them, so it aligns 